just letting you guys know you can listen to my No Bleeps podcast anywhere you stream podcasts or on my No Bleeps YouTube channel. Link in the description. Hey guys, it's Spilly and welcome back to Spill Sesh. This is an emergency 911 video because Morphe just dropped James Charles and I am not kidding. This is a move I did not see coming, honestly. This is a move that a lot of people did not see coming because for weeks now, people have been wondering why Morphe has been so extremely silent over these James Charles accusations that have been made against him and with his apology video coming out. Um, I owe a massive apology to anybody that I've hurt or anybody that I've made uncomfortable with my actions. And I also want to say I'm sorry to my friends, family, and fans that have to watch another one of these videos because you shouldn't have to. And this is really, really embarrassing. Everybody was just kind of like, okay, Morphe, you guys dropped Jeffree Star. You guys dropped Shane Dawson. Are you going to be making the same moves towards James Charles? It just kind of only seemed right that they would since they were so quick, especially with the Jeffree Star stuff that was going on. And their silence was extremely loud to the public and they were getting a lot of backlash for the fact that they were not addressing anything whatsoever. And obviously there was a lot of people coming for James as well saying, you know, this is so wrong. What has come out about you? And honestly, throughout the past couple of days and the weeks since his apology video, it has just gotten louder and louder and louder, the response that has come out about him. And he has broken his silence as well as Morphe. They obviously timed the responses because they posted them pretty much at the same time to announce that they weren't working together, which has me thinking it was definitely a long process to actually come to terms with the fact that they weren't going to be working together anymore. But James Charles did break his internet break to make a statement on Twitter that said, Accountability is something that I have spoken about a number of times in the past. In my most recent video, I spoke about and took accountability for my part in conversations I had with a few individuals who told me they were over the age of 18. As I said in that video, I can't show change overnight, but will over time. Since posting that video, many other people have come forward with a series of misleading stories and false allegations, which have been reported on by many people, creators, and news outlets. My legal team has begun taking action against those that have spread misinformation and or created completely fake stories as this has gone too far. These stories have caused many of my long-term partners to receive considerable negative feedback, one of them being Morphe. I've loved every moment working together and am beyond grateful for what we've created together. That being said, I reached out to them and we mutually agreed to wind down our James Charles X Morphe collaboration, which is my only project with them. I'm continuing to take time away to learn, grow, and listen, and look forward to coming back one day in the future as a better version of myself, James. Now, this is crazy. Obviously, you know, he's saying he's taking legal action against people that are spreading misinformation about him. I'm sure this is including cease and desist for people that have come forward or people that he have reported on people that have come forward. And, you know, maybe James never talked to those people and has proof of that and is suing those people. I'm really not sure, you guys. This is very crazy to hear that he is pursuing legal action. And also very crazy for him to be saying that he was the one that reached out to Morphe to wind down working together, wind down their collaboration. Now, Morphe's response to all of this was saying, in light of the recent allegations against James Charles, Morphe and James Charles have agreed to end our business relationship and wind down sales of the Morphe X James Charles product offering. It is and has always been Morphe's goal to create a positive, safe, and empowering space where all beauty lovers can freely share their artistry and passion for cosmetics, and Morphe is committed to furthering that goal. So this is where I'm a little confused because they're saying that they're going to end their business relationship and wind down sales of the Morphe X James Charles product offering. So. You know, to me, when I first heard about this, I first read Morphe's statement. I was like, you know, they're ending working together. But I don't know what, like, they're, are they still going to be offering the Morphe X James Charles palette? But they're just, like, not going to be working together in the future? Like, is that what's going on? Because that's a little confusing. Like, what do you mean wind down? Does that mean it's going to, like, pick back up again one day? Or what's, I don't, I don't know. That's a little confusing. 
Obviously, with James coming out with this statement, there's been a lot of reactions online. And I think a lot of people are just like tired of this situation, tired of James talking about this situation in a way that makes it seem like he doesn't know how serious it is. And a lot of people are saying that they feel like James is really upset at people for being upset at Morphe for working with him and is upset that they have received negative you know, feedback and that people that he's worked with have received negative feedback when people are saying, you know, hey, it's not negative feedback for no reason. There are valid reasons as to why people are upset that they are supporting you and that they are promoting you and that on Instagram, they had continued to promote your palette, people that were using your palette, despite all the stuff that has gone on when in the past, they have not been the same way with other people when allegations have come out about them. People are just kind of like, hey, like, you know, why is James Charles getting special treatment? When there's stuff coming out about him, you guys are not jumping to end your partnerships together. And I definitely think the wording of winding things down has people confused and upset once again. Even though they say that they're ending their business relationship, it is all very confusing. And it definitely has people questioning not only James, but the brand. And clearly they work together in, you know, conspiring to create this you know, message that they were going to put out there to the public together because they're using the same terminology in the statements. Like James said, wind down. They said, wind down. And I, I'm just a little shocked that James was the one that reached out to them. Maybe that was because he thinks if he talks to them, it's like they have a business relationship together and he wants it to seem like he's like, you know, in control of the situation and maybe could have the door open for him one day in the future for them to work together again. I'm really not sure. It's very interesting how this whole thing is going down because I'm pretty sure everyone thought that when Morphe and James Charles were going to end their relationship, if they did decide to do that, Morphe was going to take a firm stance in order to kind of save the face of their brand because people were like, I'm never going to buy Morphe ever again if they're going to continue to support James Charles. So for them to really take a wind down stance has people still very upset. Like it really doesn't seem like it's going to help the situation and help the people that are upset from everything it is all very much a mess people are just really feeling like morphe's statement was pretty vague and i do think that they are leaving somewhat of a door open clearly if they're just winding it down for james to come back and work with them and people do feel like james is sort of downplaying the situation and blaming the other people involved in the situation for what happened saying that he was lied to Although there's so many people that have come out now and said James did know their age, but you know, James is saying that he did not know their age. And it's, it's just crazy with so many people saying that even their age was on their social media. And James said that he found them from social media. And it's like, how did you not see? How did you not look? How did you be so careless from the whole thing? It just honestly is so frustrating because and very wild that someone would use their social media as a dating app and then yet not look up the ages when they're right in front of you, when they're literally on their bios. Like, I just don't understand. And for it to happen so many times, I just don't understand how someone could get lied to so many times over and over and over and over and over again and not think, hey, maybe I should start to not do this. I should not do this. I should not use this platform. Like, isn't one time enough? It's just ridiculous that there's so like double digits of people that have come out. But that is the situation as of right now. I'm definitely curious to know what you guys think about what Morphe had to say about James, what James had to say about Morphe, him reaching out to Morphe, this whole winding down thing. This is I just, I, I don't even, I don't even know how to process it because this is just a mess. And I, I do feel as though it's being downplayed in his statement and by Morphe. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Uh -huh.